So again, good afternoon to uh, the three of you and welcome to your class in in APC 111. So last time we talked about issue culture and I already have posted a recorded video of our previous discussion. And so we will move on to uh, DNA extraction. So this will be our lecture for this afternoon and and hopefully we can have genetic coding now. And um, this is uh, the strawberry DNA extraction is an example lang of what the step-by-step -step of what you're going to do. But instead of strawberry, you can have a tomato or any plant tissues, no? Any plant tissues. Kasi yung animal DNA extraction is also different. So to start with, do you have any concerns regarding um, your uh, requirements? Dean. Yes. Yes, lovely. Lovely. Nakita mo pa na? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Nasa yung pa mo na? Sa DNA, good. Oo. Isod kay mag ka nang magbuhat, ma'am, o ka nang wala kay equipments, ma'am? Mm, no, um, just need um, detergents anyway. So, ipakita na ko sa inyo unya, ha? Okay, but before we will explain, we, we will explain first what is DNA extraction and how it is used in, in crop and animal improvement. So, DNA extraction is um, our DNA, our our tissues or cell tissues is whether plants or animals are composed of proteins, lipids, and of course we know what are proteins, lipids, polysaccharides, and some other organic or inorganic compounds. In the DNA preparation, this all of this can interfere with the DNA analysis methods. So, what are DNA analysis methods? So if you, I hope you have had already wide understanding about DNA and RNA, the bath. So that is from our previous lessons on biology, as well as um, plant genetics. So this, this compounds that are present along with DNA in the plant tissues can interfere sa DNA analysis, which is composed of polymerase change reaction or PCR, and also reduce the quality of DNA leading to its shorter storage life. So DNA extraction is just simply extraction, extracting the DNA. So what's the purpose? It is to obtain, of course, the DNA, which is purified for and this eventually will be used for further investigation in the polar polymerase chain reaction in sequencing. So we will learn more about PCR and sequencing later. And um, if you don't, if you have uh, questions about DNA and RNA, I will also post a link for you to review what are DNA and RNA and it's all its possibilities. So these are the basic uh, pro protocol in the DNA extraction. Uh, so we have first most DNA extraction protocols consist of two parts. So una, first part is to So the first part is to 
lies the cells gently, no, and solubilize, solubilize, solubilize the DNA. So when we say lies is to break the cell. So I'm just. So sorry, cause I am just um like a screenshot ko sa to ang um tendon. So una is i break ni mo ang cell gently and i solubilize ni mo ang DNA and then um enzymatic or chemical methods to remove contaminating proteins, RNA or macro molecules. So after na my break ni mong cell through chemical or enzymes, you're going to remove these proteins, yung kanina, polysaccharides, lipids, and so on. And in plants, the nucleus is protected with a nuclear membrane. So, of course, if you can you imagine the plant cell? It is composed of the nuclear membrane surrounded by a cell membrane, which is made of a cell wall. And this cell wall are the fibrous materials around it. So basically, of course, composed of lipids and carbohydrates. And four steps used to remove and purify the DNA from the rest of the cell includes first, lysis, yung kanina, precipitation, and then wash and resuspension. So what are these protocols? Uh, we have uh, two methods um, classification. So those are kanina, yung four steps, no? But um, um, we can classify versus uh, DNA, DNA, DNA extraction methods used in research lab compared to classroom lab. So sa research lab um, versus classroom, you, you, like, you use ni uh, nitrogen, no? N2 and detergent liquid nitrogen so if you have liquid nitrogen but if you don't have liquid nitrogen of course it's we don't need to actually purchase a liquid nitrogen so because we will do it in a classroom setting or in your house setting so but it would be easier if you have the liquid nitrogen. So have you seen, any one of you, have you seen a liquid nitrogen before? Wala pa, ma'am. Uh-huh. Kanang ginahin mo, magayon na ice cream. So I can show you also. Wait. Ito nga nito, pagkawalan niya. Ah, half dip. Man, di pa bitaw ka balo mo exit. Okay. So, sa so YouTube, you can, I can show you kasi liquid nitrogen for DNA extraction. So, you can always just Google this one. So, it's better that you know what is a DNA extraction using liquid nitrogen okay so let's just we'll switch so let's check this one hello everyone my name is Vasco Elbrecht and I want to give you a first look at our meta barcoding project we want to identify the community composition of macrosorbentos in stream ecosystems using molecular methods can you hear it with the tools we develop it will be possible to rapidly yes, the ecological yes, state of ecosystems. However, at the moment, we are still working on evaluating and testing our method. So in this extraction here, I'm extracting DNA of 52 different species. And I will try with next generation sequencing and see how many of those species I can recover with our meta barcoding approach. Here you see me pooling those tissues of the different aquatic species, and then I put them into a mortar to grind them. We add liquid nitrogen to cool the tissue down and break it down to very fine powder. Mm -hmm.
After around 10 minutes of grinding, I scoop the tissue together and divide it up onto different reaction tubes, which will be used to extract the DNA. I'm looking forward to share the results of our second test. And if you want to stay updated with our project or other projects, make sure to subscribe onto our GeneStream YouTube channel and also check back on the GeneStream website on a regular basis. See you next time. Bye bye. So that's um, amazing, no? Since it would be your first time to um, okay, no, ice cream, ice cream. Pero it's the same liquid nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen that is used for making ice cream. So and kana ano? ganing ano? Kana pungi na himut na unsa ginaw fried ice cream batawa na. Kita na morning a video, ice cream using liquid nitrogen. Anyone? Wala pa ma'am. Wala pa po. So, um, we will check this one because it's only two minutes. Just to show you, it's the same liquid nitrogen that Not at all. <laughs> it's ice cream. it's ice cream, right? You can't go wrong. It's hard to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Faster. Okay. 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 It's fun, yeah, it's fine. Can't go wrong. I know it's going to be good. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. You burn your hands here? It doesn't happen. No, no, no. Cool. The gas kind of makes this little barrier between your skin. Gotcha. Um, kind of like dry ice does. Kind of hot. I thought you might have needed gloves or something, right? Oh, oh, brave man, brave man. It's cool. kind of like a candle bite. Like, uh, goes, that's fine. But like, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm going to put as much as I can on the sugar cone and then put the remainder in. Oh, you have to do it in order, sorry. Oh, no, you're just... Oh. You're melting all ice cream, sorry. Have you got to put the tip in there? I will. He's done a good job, shall I lift it up? Put the money in, there you go, extras. Half the pass. So, ano na siya? So, napag-inatawag na fried ice cream. I don't know kung magpakita siya na rin. No, it's not. This one. Ganun kami. Four minutes. So, kanin siya. Muna akong ginaingan nga fried ice cream. So, this is also liquid nitrogen. So, dili na ito si ice cream, no? Kaya di mapun na mga ito ang lesson. But, <laughs> I just wanna show you because uh, since you just said na First, ah, first time niyo ang ah makakita ng ano liquid nitrogen. So, in the classroom, you just gonna grind it in a using mortar and pestle and use detergent. No, kaya ayo pag um si lovely ba to or si Mary? Ah, lovely no, ikaw to nang utana kanina na wala may mga materials. So don't worry kung wala mo liquid nitrogen. Yes, ma'am. You have your mortar and pestle to do that. And also, in the part one, you use phenochloroform extraction to get rid of the proteins. In, in the classroom base naman, which is sa home base ninyo, you, you don't do this kasi chloroform 
and phenol are too dangerous for your home or for your for the classroom anyway so you skip this part in the precipitation part two you just add salt to interrupt hydrogen bonding between water and phosphates of the dna and so you can do this in your class in your home add salts to interrupt the hydrogen bonding between water and phosphates at dna and in the precipitation part three you add um, ethanol to pull DNA out of the solution and you can also ethanol is just the alcohol you have no and we have a lot of alcohol now in in the store because of the pandemic so you just add alcohol or eth any ethanol to pull DNA out of the solution then wash and resuspend DNA is wash and ethanol then dried and resuspended in water or the buffer but in your classroom dna is washed in ethanol as well dried and resuspend in water or if you have the the buffer but you just use water anyway so ayon so in precipitation in the research lab the first part of precipitation we use phenyl chloroform to remove the proteins from dna again and phenol that denatures the proteins and dissolves denatured proteins while chloroform was, is also a protein denaturant so this again cannot be done in the classroom because it's too dangerous so the second part is in the research lab is the addition of salt this salt will interrupt the hydrogen bonds between the water and dna molecules then the dna is then precipitated from the protein in subsequent step with isopropanol or ethanol or i said yung alcohol ninyo sa bahay ninyo or sa store and in the presence of cations this ethanol will induce a structural change ng dna ninyo molecules that cause them to aggregate and precipitate out of solution then the dna is pelleted by spinning with a centrifuge and the supernatant removed so meron naman akong pictures to shoot to show this. So the basically the precipitation in a classroom lab is just the same with the um the research lab no. May add the salt, the presence of the salt and then the ethanol and pel the pelation of DNA spinning no. But note uh that's not this in the classroom setting you do not use the chloroform or the phenols so in the washing and resuspension naman um the precipitated dna is laden with acetate salts so it's washed now with 70 percent ethanol solution to remove salts and other water soluble impurities and do not do not resuspend the dna so to resuspend the dna the clean dna is will uh Resuspend in a buffer to ensure stability and long-term storage. And use buffer is called one times PE. So to, to, to give you a picture of all the overview of the DNA instruction, so you break down the cell just like Anina using the nitro, liquid nitrogen and centrifuge to separate. So imuha lang siyang centrifuge or ipalugdang lang ni siya. To, uh, to separate the solids from the DNA, dissolve DNA, and, and then precipitate the DNA, dagdagan mo ng alcohol, then centrifuge again to separate the DNA with salts and sugars, and then wash the pe DNA pelleted with ethanol and dry the pellet. So, ito na yung dissolve DNA. So, are, um, are you excited to do this already in your in your uh, home or class in your household so anyway bragshak pa mo no or inyo halang ginang ano signal so there are ways to check you the quality of your dna so if um if the product of your dna extraction will be used in the next experiment, actually preparation ng DNA extraction. 
So with poor quality DNA, of course, it will affect your PCR result. And uh, if you assess the quality of your DNA extraction, use these following simple protocol. Mix them with 10 microliter of DNA and 10 microliter of loading buffer and then load this mixture into 1% agarose. No? So the expected research in the in the lab is this, no? It, it, this is actually a photo of an agarose gel that has five genomic DNA sample, one, two, three, four, five, plus the buffer or the control uh, sample plants. And note that DNA runs at a very high molecular weight. So na siya yung mga lines, lines, diha, no? Because and DNA moran na siya pa dulong, no? whether um, depending sa yahang distance so if mabigat siya shorter lang ang madagan niya no and uh, as a clear thick band ito ito yung mga bands DNA was extracted under optimal condition so this will represent the 1 kbp and 100 bp ladders so ang tawag dyan mga ladders and these are the genomic DNA of five species of cereals. One, two, three, four, five. So as you notice, yung kanyang molecular weight ay kasing level dito na ladder. So ito, meron siyang mga different specific um, molecular weights, yung mga ladders na ito. So when you analyze DNA samples in the research lab, if properly done, then the genomic extraction should result in bright bands in the very high base pair range of a gel. This is called the gel electrophoresis. So have you seen a gel electrophoresis before? So anyway, I'm going to show you another video also showing the gel electrophoresis. So Usually, the genomic fragments will run at 12 kbp because they are sheared during extraction. So, as expected, so ito maganda yung quality kasi napaka clear ng kanyang. Um, ano tawag dito? Bands, bright bands, yung bands niya. So, ito yung mga sizes na sinasabi ko. No? So, malalaman mo na yung DNA na nakuha mo is is kirikya kulay if meron siyang 4 million na ito na something na million ba? 1,000, yeah, million BP. No? And yes, it's 12 million BP. Fruit fly, 140 million BP. And billion, ang human ay merong 3 billion BP. Ang P is merong uh, more than, ah, uh, wait lang. So, 4 billion BP then, no? Kadang kadami. And uh, wheat has 17 billion then. No? So, ganun kadami then. So, yung expected results in a, however, in a classroom lab ay ito, no? Using the protocol in the serial genomics module, for example, the genomic DNA extracted will look different than an optimized DNA. So, Although may comparing sa result ng, this is the actual result, no? I meron siyang, di ba kanina napaka-clear ng light band? So ito medyo, ano siya, uh, will look different but makikita mo pa rin yung bands niya. Uh, then the optimized DNA extraction on the previous slides, this one, wait lang, hindi na mapakita. So this is due to the missing phenol, phenol or chloroform step. Uh, so this is expected even though this genomic DNA preparation is not perfect, still suitable for use as PCR template. So yung lane one is for barley, A, B is for corn, C is oat, then rice, and wheat. You know? So note that the DNA has shared particularly for wheat but broken broken up into numerous fragments and it's not still clean. Uh, single band at the top. These are the mid-range size. Ito. Fragments. So this measures 
1,000 to 10,000 BP size. Sir. So, ito yung size dito ay 1,000 to 10,000. And the bright bands at the 100 to 1,000 range are RNA. This one, which are also gets extracted using this protocol. Since wala siyang phenol or chloroform, so ito yung magiging result niya. So, ito siya. This is the analysis. So, what are the roles of these chemicals in extraction? So, we have the CTAB or the hexadecyl trimethyl ammonium bromide. This is best detergent to use during extraction or isolation of high polymerized DNA from plant material. But in your case, you can always use any kind of detergent, no, any sabon or liquid soap or a powder soap. No, so imha pa man siya ang e. Kung bar soap mo, so imha pa na e. Kanang e so, is dissolved. Simultaneously, solubilizes the plant cell wall and lipid membranes and denatures the protein. So the protein is denatured when it is destroyed uh, through heating, but this time you denaturize the protein using the chemical chloroform. And the chloroform is will solubilize lipids and proteins to remove them from DNA. So para mas separate siya. And used to help separate proteins and polysaccharides from nucleic acid itself. And also help bind up the complex proteins and polysaccharides. So ito yung mga references that you can check. So just to show you the strawberry extraction. So ito siya. So ito siya, no? So, ito yung gagawin ninyo. So, these are already explained on the previous discussion, no? And this is just to know what is the DNA about. So, if you still don't know yet, the DNA is 9 feet. And in every meal, you eat perhaps maybe 55 million cells, no? And this is equal to 93,205 miles from DNA if you're going to add them up into nine feet each. Ayan. So I will go straight. So if you can, this link will also give you an, um, a review of what is DNA all about. Of course, it's our genetic makeup. It's the one which identify our genes. No? So this is where you do and what you do. So you can squash the berry. You can squash the berry with your hand to begin the process. Uh, yeah, no. So you just place them in a Ziploc or any bag, na water, no? Water, plastic cellophane, I mean. And um, so you squash them with your hand to begin the process. Ayan, as so shown on the on the figure so as you uh, as we have discussed a while ago the cell membranes are made up of phospholipids so they this won't be sold in water so by the way instead of strawberry you can this is for strawberry so you can just use a tomato kamatis or any leaves ng plants no pwede ni crush like that so kanina in the research lab you can they are doing it with the liquid nitrogen. And also, um, using the soap and det detergent, uh, this gathers between oil and water capturing the bubble, no, called mist seal. And when you wash your hands, the soap carries the oils away. So that's why you're going to use the soap or the detergent because they are the one which separates them from the oil or the phospholipids, no? And uh, to remove proteins also, you use the enzymes or yung, uh, any meat tenderizer. So if uh, some, papain lang naman yung iba, no? Yung meat tenderizers, like, like found in papaya. So you can just use a papaya extract to, to be a source of your so, ito na. 
So after squashing them, you add a small amount ng sodium chloride, yung, yung asinin nyo to the soap solution. And um, asan ako? Kanina. Ayan. After squashing, you you um you add or you put them with soap solution or detergent and then um adding a small amount of table salt to the soap solution then this can punch holes in the nuclear and cell wall membranes and also remove the protein so yan idagdag mo lang dyan. so and also the other way to remove proteins are enzymes or meat tenderizer like the papain i told you and after mixing it the contents of the cell must be separated already and the larger cell parts can be removed if you oh so as you can see naka filter siya, no? so to see the dna it should be extracted or spooled ang tawag from the remaining liquid you filtered and then DNA dissolves in water but not in alcohol. So you add alcohol therefore to cause the DNA to precipitate or to separate out from the liquid filtrate. So so after you transfer this, no, the, the uh, pag mag strain, so using a funnel or imbudo, kay naraman mo sa yung balay, transfer ninyo sa but you can also use a, if you don't have test tube so you can also use a a baso lang no a cup and then dagdagan niyo ng alcohol so as you can see uh DNA will appear as white precipitate so ito yung DNA once the alcohol is added then behold the tube by the top and not by the bottom so the DNA is transformed uh, disintegrate or fragrant from the heat of your hand. So, kung bunita ninyo ning nasa baba, yan eh, maaaring, uh, it could be also, uh, yung DNA strands will, won't fragment, no? I will, will, will clutter kung, because of the heat of your sun. So, heat of your hand, sun. And the, the DNA, when you spool them, it will be look like this, that is sticky and will adhere to the surface. So you use a kuchara at the door to, or in, if you are in the lab, you're gonna use the steering rod no, to remove the DNA. So ito yung na yung DNA. So uh, practice lang ito for in, in any research lab that you're going to. So, and uh, you can try this at home and show me an evidence, video or photos that you did this in your laboratory exercise. So do you have any questions? None so far, ma'am. Yes, please. So yes. Kaya na kayo, di ba? Dean. Yes, lovely. Ay. Din paano kung kuan din wala walay gamit din wala ay walay tools walay katong patong panggamit gani para maka DNA me Um ang gamiton lang nimo is sabon na Pwede lang kanang baso lang siya din Ah yes As I have just said earlier you can baso use lang. Yes glass or baso And then you can use um Instead of steering rod, you can use na kanang tinidor or any stick, no? Na pwede na siya. Pwede ninyo ma, ma steer or makutaw. Ma'am, nag-try ko ka ng DNA, ma'am ba? Yes, Rose? Nag-try ko, ma'am, pero di rin mo kayo magawa sa angkatong extraction niya, ma'am. Uy, saging akong gigamit, ma'am. Yes, then imo nang strain Kailan ako nag-attack ko? Wala gam... Dila, dyan siya mo gawas. Ambot lang. Siguro sa saging, siguro ito ako nagamit. So, wala siya ng form, okay, nani? Cloudy? Yeah. 
So, anyway, uh, kung gibuhat ni mo siya, nag-gipicturean ni mo, or you can do it again. So, I just... Yes, ma'am. Ako okay, mga picture. Okay, pwede na to siya, no? And I, I will just see kung... And I will... I will get back to you i-istoryahan ta ka kung asa dito ang DNA. So, bili, doesn't mean nga klaro juga ang DNA niya, no? So, usually, morag, inanara na siya o kaning whitish niya. And if you're going to use banana, the more it harder kasi maybe your banana is whitish masyado, no? Yellowish. Yes, mom. Or white siya. So, medyo liso. Nakita ko lang po na ko sa YouTube, mom. Moto, gitry na ko. So, nakita niyo sa YouTube. Okay. Okay na to siya. You just explain. Uh, you just show na na kung saan yung ibuwat ka itong mga photos mo. Mara ito yung isubmit. Okay, ma'am din. Yes. And actually, in in genetics, it's more of imagination. No? The DNA is not seen in the naked eye. Diba? Diba? since it is microscopic. So, if you're going to somehow check this one inside the, in the microscope, so pwede niyo na makita. To check it's, na mag, uh, actually, ang iyahad yung form is something like ito, cell membrane. So, ang form sa DNA is something, something like this one, nakakoiled siya. But you can all only see this um, these figures for less than a minute na lang ha so anytime ma putol na ta so you can this see this figure under a microscope. Okay, so I hope you can try and submit a report to me. So it's not actually a very um, technical report, no. You just you just going to report what you did, the steps, and also the photos and and your explanation to your photos or to the results. So like sa iyo, Mary Rose, nakita mo na dili juke siya klaro in banana. So so that's it. Mo gin na yung result. So, okay na? Do you have any more, some more questions? Sorry, less than a minute na lang ta.